Before we start this video, we must know first what is a kainago. The word pronounced as kainago comes from the Carib word derived from kalinenmeti, meaning a good peaceful man. They are Dominica's indigenous people. The Caribs were one of the original inhabitants of the island and reside on the northeast coast of the island. For more information on the Kainagos, sources such as discoverdominica.com and salibia.org provide more in-depth information on the Kainagos. They also have pictures and videos on their respected sites online. The Kalinago Barana Ote this is located in the center of the Kalinago territory. A must visit for first time visitors of the Kalinago territory. The Ote is filled with artifacts, arts and craft gallery, scenic viewpoints, and even a waterfall which is easily accessible. Visitors of the Ote, please note that a tour guide will be alongside you if you are to see any of the art galleries which he or she will be explaining to you the background behind the Kainago artifacts. More historical artifacts can be found in the Barana Ote. The convenient thing I've noticed about being in the Ote, there are a lot of seating areas which are all of what I've seen on the shade and a nearby bin, which brings a more comforting atmosphere. Nearby the gazebo, there's a small path that leads to a small waterfall in the heart of the Kainago territory. This is also known as the Izu Lukati waterfall. One of Dominica's most accessible waterfalls in my opinion. It may not be the most jaw-droppingly beautiful ones compared to the others on the island, but its accessibility encourages memorable pictures taken by it. The Taboi Kabe. This is where ceremonies can be seen being held in the Kainago territory. This briefly summarizes what can be found in the Parana Ote. If there's one restaurant in the Kalinago territory that I'd wish I knew sooner about, it's the Tilu Kanawa restaurant. Never I would imagine such well-presented variety of meals in a particular way with locally grown cassava. I was shocked to see such well-presented tasty meals for things such as tacos, burgers and other intriguing meals in such a well-presented manner for such affordable pricing too. L'Escale Teche For the more of the sightseeing category, L'Escale is less than an hour of a trail in the Kalinago territory. For more of the sightseeing category, L'Escale's trail is less than an hour. This trail has scenic viewpoints, interesting rock formations, and is a lovely fisher spot for many fishermen. L'Escale being on the harsh sunlight side of the Kalinago territory, please be advised when going, have enough water to hydrate yourself. Be very cautious when near the edges of the rock formations as the waves around the area can rise as tall as a fully grown man and do not under any circumstances swim into the sea nearby these rock formations. At the time of uploading this video, it should be Kainago week. So I would like to say happy Kainago week to all the Kainagos watching this video. Until next time, capture your moments and embrace the beauty of Dominica.